Veterans got together to display their artwork and how artwork is the best outlet for stress. We owe so much to our veterans and recently at the VA hospital, they showed their talents. Sometimes when you think about a VA or a veterans hospital, you picture a lot of little old men in wheelchairs sitting around watching TV. You know, just it's just a horrible, depressing picture. But then when you get to come in and look around, you see how much they actually really have. The VA gives them a lot of opportunities in so many different areas. And in all the VAs throughout the United States, they do the local competitions. This is considered the local competition. So we put our veterans up against our veterans. We're only allowed to enter one per category, and there are 53 categories, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so our veterans are in a little competition, and then from here, all the number ones that the judges picked, those go nationally, and they send thousands and thousands from all over the country, and then they pick the top three. And then what happens is the winners here will then go on to a national level competition. The national level competition will come up with some winners, and in the fall, those winners will be celebrated in a culmination event, which is the festival, the National Veterans Creative Arts Festival, which all the winners are invited to celebrate their art, to sit there and display the best of the best. Well, I was really excited because I met a veteran who has a lot of disabilities, who had done some sketches, and I didn't realize he had done some sketches in the, uh, in the art exhibit. And uh, it was really exciting to see that he's still doing well because I haven't seen him in quite a while. And I know, you know, from past experience, from working here and knowing him, he also does writing, so I was able to really give him the attention that, um, that is so exciting as an artist, you know, and gratifying. So I was able to really see that he's also done well since I've last seen him. So it makes me feel good that the VA is helping him. One of my favorite patients entered a piece that I helped him out with. And it took months and months because like I said, I work with the psychiatric inpatient population. So they're really pretty much the worst ones off at the VA. They're in rough shape, they're on a locked unit. Um, see things, hear things, feel things, all stuff that's not there and not real. So for this patient, he goes in and out of, I would say, moments of clarity and moments of reality orientation. So getting him down to our arts and crafts clinic is, is tough some days, and a lot of the time he doesn't want to come. So this project took us close to, I would say, half a year. And I helped him. He shakes a lot, um, so he can't hold a paintbrush all the time. So sometimes I'll do the outline, and then he'll fill in the middle. He, um, he actually just did a cup all on his own for the first time, so I was really proud of that. And he says he's gonna give the final product to one of his children as a gift, so it's nice that they see, just like I said before, that their father is not sitting in a wheelchair, looking at the TV, miserable. It's nice to see that he's out and about and doing things and learning and getting involved just continuing his creative growth throughout the ages. It's helped me tremendously, and, uh, and there have been times when I've had a pretty, pretty troubled life, and uh, this has helped to uh, get me over the, a lot of rough stuff, a lot of rough um, places. Having done this, I uh, feel that it was probably the best thing that I've ever done because, uh, well, I had quite a few nightmares. I'm, I'm a Vietnam veteran. Uh, I've seen some pretty terrible things. This is a way of uh, coping. I, that's where I started out, as a way of coping. And I felt I had some kind of talent for it. I think I have a pretty good fan pretty good uh, 
fantasy life and uh, I decided to put it down on, uh, on the paper. Uh, sometimes art can say things that people aren't able to say in words. They can express things uh, such as love and hate that are concepts through a painting that they can't express in their words alone.